Hello everybody and welcome to Cooking and Adventures. Today I'm going to tell you about an adventure that I was on. An adventure that I wish did not take place. This was an adventure to Walmart. Now here I'm going to show you this aisle of empty shelves. Well, they're not so much empty as they are filled with spots. Empty spots. So, my first video that I made in this series focused on a Walmart that was in a town with around 5,000 people. This one is close, but this is more of a town that has 10,000 people or 15. And as you can see, the shelves are littered with holes. This is the candy aisle. And there's some bread here. Here's a peanut butter and jelly. As you can see, there's not much here. It's unbelievable. Just going down these aisles, I've never seen it this, this empty before. It was crazy. So here's a coffee, moving on to the rice, it's a couple bags left but it's been pretty well cleared out, there's a bag here and there but there's mostly gaps. Then we have the noodles next to it, looking pretty bare as well. some canned meat that was pretty wiped out we actually grabbed the last can of spam here's the other side of the aisle and walking through the store I can only describe the atmosphere as fearful not panic it was creepy and here's my wife to give you her impression of what we saw. It was strange because we saw people with carts and carts full of stuff. Just, it almost looked like they were panic buying. Yeah, but they were more walking around in a daze kind of. Yeah, kind of like zombies. Yeah, but they weren't like super panicked, but you could tell there was panic in their eyes. Maybe they were as confused about it as we were. Yeah. I mean, look at all this stuff. It's all... It's crazy. Up, yeah. I've never seen store shelves like this. And there is ramen noodle at this one, but look, at there's this whole section where there's the ramen noodles... There's whole sections yeah. of ramen noodles that are just gone. Yeah. Here's the soups. As you can see, there's not much of a selection. Uh-uh. is crazy I mean even the gravy's gone yep what are people thinking when they do this I wonder here's another section this is the where noodles? The, the noodles and I don't want to panic anybody but if I was you I would maybe go out and pick up a couple of things what do you think I agree I mean at least while it's there and here's the meat section. Yeah, that was creepy because all of our favorite meat is gone. I don't know whether this is supply chain issues or if people are really truly panic buying. What are your thoughts? Yeah, probably a little bit of both. Could be. Here's the other section. The hamburger looked okay, but the chicken was decimated yeah like yeah. the this section didn't look too bad i mean it was kind of normal for what you'd see at walmart yeah and now i had to switch over to my phone as a camera because my gopro was giving me problems but anyways here is the cereal aisle and as you can see a lot of the cereal's been picked over and there's huge gaps here too 
Wow, that is crazy. And then the other aisle over. That's the bagged cereal. Yeah, there was plenty of toilet paper here, though. Oh, it's that's almost good. yeah. It's like they were expecting a run on toilet paper. So they stocked up, which was a good thing, and everybody did a run on everything else. Right. There's nothing else. I don't know if you saw this when you were here with me, but I didn't. Potato no. chip aisle. Look at. No, it. I didn't see that. Yeah, look at how many gaps there are. Oh my goodness, that is crazy. Huge area here. Did anybody at Walmart, like, did you ask anybody at Walmart what they thought the issue was? No, I didn't ask anybody anything, but there were a lot of employees around this area, which is weird because nobody was stocking anything, but there yeah. was, and here's a spice aisle. A lot of the spices are gone. Yeah. It seemed like a lot of the employees were as confused as we were. Right, but the weird thing was there were so many of them back in the food section, but they weren't really doing anything. Right. And I noticed a lot of them were doing the mobile orders. Oh, yeah. I saw one person do that. Yeah. And here's a flower. Look at this. Is look, this looks that crazy. That looks pretty scarce, too. Flour, sugar. Breadcrumbs. Jello. I noticed a lot of the chocolate jello was gone. It's almost like people oh, yeah. are targeting the chocolate. Like people want chocolate pudding or something? Yeah. Well, chocolate pudding, not chocolate jello. Hey, it's all good. It's <laughs> jello. And look at these spices and stuff. Wow. I know. That's why I bought a few spices home the other day. Yeah. I like yeah. that idea. And then when I had to go to the store, mm -hmm. I brought brought a few different kinds of spices home. Right. that I knew we needed, so we we're actually going to use those. Yeah, the thing is, I mean, this stuff is emptying, so if you don't get it now, everybody else is going to take it. So Right, get what you need now. Right. I wish we could have brought you a cooking video on this channel, but, you know. Unfortunately, based on all of the sh shortages and stuff, a lot of the ingredients that I need to be able to cook aren't there. Right. And here is the juice aisle. We're not big juice drinkers, but if we were, I mean, look at this. This is. Hey, I like high C, but <laughs> there ain't much there. Right. But getting back to the whole cooking idea, if you guys have any ideas of what you'd want me, of what you'd want to see me cook, let me know in the comments. Yeah. Or let us know in the comments. Oh, and this is just one area that I thought I'd throw into the video. Usually these hanging shelves... With shoes? With shoes are packed yeah. full of shoes. But, yeah. I never saw so many empty shoe areas there. Mm-mm. Neither have I. And yeah. here's... Oh, this is the cat food aisle, isn't it? Yep, I just thought I'd throw that in because... We cat love, food is yeah. pretty scarce, too. And then this is the toilet paper I was talking about. They stocked up on tons and tons of it, but... Apparently it, <laughs> they thought there was going to be a run. But it's the food that has a run on it, so... Right. But did you see the the price mm. of that? It was like nine ninety nine. Yeah, that's crazy. So they're, they're giving us toilet paper, but they're hiking up the price. Yeah, well, that's our video. Uh, I wish it could have been a cooking one, but I guess this is just an emergency that's going on in the world. So I guess maybe we can just make some videos about what's going on with the store shelves right. for now. So, so final thought? Um, get out and get what yeah. you can now. Yes, don't wait. But don't panic. But don't panic. All right, that's, that should just about do it. Thank you for watching. Have a great afternoon, guys.